Ziggenerd here. Today we have an interesting segment for you. It's interviews from orbit. Uh, we're trying to live our best life here on the podcast. We've got Sam Prime here, ready in the building. We're going to be talking about this crazy weekend that we just had over in Kansas. What an amazing time. Um, spicy takes, uh, misplays on stream. The crowd went wild. Jeez. No one saw it coming. The greatest. People paying for shit with dark cards. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know. You know, people. You say people saw it coming. I don't even know how many people saw it coming because most of the people, I'm sure, are watching the ice, the ice crystal cup. Yeah. No, I'm sure all 31 of our viewers were absolutely <laughs> enthralled by these plays. Uh, really some top level stuff coming out of Kansas, man. Yeah. So, so, so let's get right into it. So three tournaments this weekend. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Friday's warm up, Saturday Petite and Sunday Petite Cup Championship. Which one was your favorite tournament? And let's talk about it. All right. Well, my favorite was. I'm going to uh, shuffle a deck. Yeah, it makes sense. I, my favorite was yeah. the, the finals. Um for a lot of reasons, the prize support was really dope, in my opinion. Um, the Luna Freya, the <laughs> Luna Freya thing. I didn't win the Luna Freya; I had to trade for it. But that part was pretty cool too. Uh, but no, but you you know you got the Bart sleeves, which were pretty rare, um, and then you got like a card signed by the artist. So I got Sid of Clan Gully. So I'm gonna gift that to my boy Ian, because um, I I don't really ever plan on playing that card so let's talk about Sid of clan gully i hear that card gets an ffta2 forward can we talk about that yeah you um, can, you can go get you know I, in fact we should probably look this up so that we are very accurate um, no hold on i got it hold on let me share my screen with you and we'll well we'll pull it up no I no stop so, yelling all right stop yelling shh, shh. Uh, hold on let me open up my browser here real quick let me browse over to Chrome. Excellent. Let's get that open here. Boop. Calculating. So is it calculating. Calculating. Changing to X first. Oh, and we're going to talk about Lord over Captain Duckworth this weekend too. What a champion! My right. goodness. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, boys. So it was the name of a deck. Here we go. So this card here, I hear this card is good. I'm thinking of putting 48 in my deck. You know there's 20 other forwards you could play. No, no. Not really, though. That, right? I, mean, I, I feel like searching anything but Illua is a misplay. Adele's, right? like, Adele's good. No? I mean, I'll give you Adele. Uh, I think Adele's a e pretty e good card. E-Win's not bad. I mean, how many lightning wins did you see, though? At this tourney, I, I did not see well, a single lightning win. Between the six people, uh, yeah. Let's make so. a deck. Yeah, yeah. Let's make a deck real quick. This is this is this is pretty much where I'm at. Let's call it a day. <laughs> we go, let's just call it a day there. And then we basically put 41 support cards. Thoughts? I mean, this could be either a constructed or a title deck, so this is going well so far. I think this is really good. Also, what's the average Excellent. price of your deck? I feel like people could actually just buy this deck for like 20 bucks. Uh, probably. I think, honestly, the Illuas is 98% uh, of the cost of this deck, so it seems good. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so let's move on. Uh, let's turn my speaking camera back of, on. Speaking of moving Ooh. on, nice wallpaper. <laughs> oh, you... Oh, yeah. So I'm getting that custom-made playmats. You got it here first. This, this is all copyrighted material, so I can't make any money. But if any of you uh, watchers out there want to partake in this mat, please just let me know. Hit me up on the gram. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and if you're, if, if you're coming to uh, FCC – or you got FCC. Dang, I got this segment. If you're coming to um, Crystal Cup Fire, which is the Tampa one, I'll sign yeah, the bronze for awesome. you. I think that's fair. And then we can, uh, you know, have Joshka come in from Singapore and sign the other side. Well, he's in New York right now, so it's not even that ridiculous. We could just tell him to fly oh, down. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yo, yo, shout out to your boy, Joshka. Let's get these signed up. Priceless. Yeah. Yeah. 
So let's get back into the, the meat and potatoes, if you would, my man. Yeah, yeah. So finals, let's talk about it. Who are your opponents? How'd it go? Talk to me about your deck. Talk to me about getting getting killed by Azul. Uh, probably best card in the constructive format right now. Let, let's talk about it. Yeah, I think it was the Golbez that really did it in. But Yeah, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, so... That's fair. Yeah, I mean, my losses in the finals were to Kyle and Swiss. Oh, and then Kyle in top four. So, yeah. Seems good. Kyle looked like to be on a very serious tear. Yeah. I think that yeah. Kyle actually went undefeated during that part portion too my understanding is that he just for the last round of swiss which so third round for those that can't math um he just let ben do seven points of damage to him so that he could go have lunch early so i don't think he actually lost an actual match wow really competitive final set that is that is <laughs> yeah that is that is really uh nail biting what, a, what an experience so is it true that basically all you had to do was not go dumpster in three you had to not lose round one if you win round one you're guaranteed top cut absolutely majestic yeah the most beautiful thing i've ever seen boys wow we we really come a long way as a game well i think yeah. Talk, talk to me about what happened there. Why, why did six people show up to this Petit Cup Finals? I think that someone wanted me to lose $30 in a plushie because I made a bet that I would... Yeah. So it was Dakota Snodgrass? Well... Is that... Yeah. So Dakota Snodgrass was conspiring against you with the other 24... Uh, finals 21 I don't know how many others were I mean isn't the total 21, 24 something like that to not come so that he could get a Bulbasaur plushie <laughs> it wasn't Bulbasaur but it was something like that yeah well no 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 I mean it. what if they had offered those plushies to the top four then we might have had more people come out that's fair. Yeah, pricing was announced well in advance. So honestly, solid. You know, solid week or solid. So yeah, I think it's Actually. fine. Look, flights, flights, flights to Kansas City from most metropolitan areas uh, were probably just around six, seven hundred dollars when the pricing was announced. So I would hope more people would have come. Yeah, I mean, you made the you made the jump. Why can't everybody else, right? Yeah, that's fair. Actually, we got good deals from Miami. I had to fly uh, Banana Airlines, but I didn't die, right? So that's right. plus. And, uh, you know, so that's always good when you don't die on Spirit Airlines. So, Sam, let's talk about your deck sure. and all of the craziness that went into that. You changed deck from Orbit over 700 times from Friday. We did about, uh, I'd say, about eight hours of testing on Friday. And on Saturday, you were on a different deck. On Saturday night, you were on a different deck. At Saturday, the next morning, at 1 a.m., you were on a different deck. 22 minutes before the tournament, you were on a different deck. And after you turned in your deck list, you were on a different deck. So let's talk about <laughs> the thought processes that went into this, uh, this, this pre-gaming. All right, so my deck was uh, the COI DJ special um, based off what of... What does that stand for? Uh, cards to be released would be the first part in uh, the Dan John special because uh, Dan and John were the ones who originated the, the sort of Prince Knight build um, that the deck is based around. So I wanted to give them a little credit because uh, the list is certainly not like a, an original Prime deck, I would say. Um, a lot of this, this is like... Uh, an adaptation of their deck. So I wanted to give them credit where credit is due. Uh, they, they had a really cool deck. I tried to make it as bad as I could um, to give to, to really give Kansas a fighting chance. You know, they, they hadn't won a tournament that I had attended uh, before, so Oof. really wanted to give them a fighting chance. Oof. Got there, boys. Yeah. Very advanced. 
Yeah. What What's the track record on that one? On this deck or on... On you going to Kansas and winning their events? Well, I, I typically go to Kansas and go like X2 in the warm-up event and then lose. Don't make top cut, which happens every time. And then, uh, then I go X2 and the Swiss of the Petit Cup and the Crystal Cup there, and then top cut, and then happen to win those matches and events total. But Nice. Yeah, I know a little something about winning the warm-up events. Well, see, uh, that, that's the problem, is that you're not supposed to win the warm-up events. Yeah, that's obviously, like, bad luck, bad juju. For I mean, the rest how, of the how, many game, how many games did you win in a row with that deck, starting with the Friday night? Eight? Eight games. Do you know how eight games in a row is more than enough to put you at a top cut if you would just save some of that? I'm going to try better next time, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Or the, on the warm-up, I'm going to bring, you know, not my tournament deck. It's just at the time, I didn't believe in the deck at all. Um, and then I was actually self-surprised by how great it did. And then actually, I seen that the, uh, the European gentleman in Germany actually got top eight with Freaking Rainbow Agri is a little bit different than my list, but yeah. I don't know. I think there's something there. Definitely want to keep exploring that in the in the next opus. Yeah, that uh, they actually had two Agrius decks, correct? They had uh, the water ice Agrius deck, deck oh, and then they had a lightning Agrius deck as well. Oh, sweet! Yeah, actually, that's really interesting. I had uh, seen that lightning deck in locals, but um, this version had uh, Minwu in it the draw five summons and get one. And uh, according to the Ziggenhurt algorithm, I, I whiff that every time. So I just, I couldn't bring myself to. Well, is there at least like what? Thir- you need like 13 summons for that to be like a decent percentage rate. Like how many summons yeah. is he running? Yeah, I can have 42 summons. I'll still whiff it. Uh, according to the Ziggenhurt algorithm. Okay. Which Fair uh, feels bad. Uh, no, I, we were testing a deck with 13 summons, and I whiffed it twice in a row, and then I immediately threw that deck in the garbage can and lit it on fire. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I play, too. Like, I, I, I whiff with, I have, like, 42 monsters. I whiff with Realm. I'm like, Realm's obviously garbage. Yeah, Realm's a bad card. That, that's it. I'm quitting uh, Pokemon Snap full-time. I can't even begin to tell you how many people got Awesome Special directly from Orbit. Had to pick up my card, read it, uh, response, I'm sad, and then scoop the game. It was it was delicious. I'm not going to lie. Um, people are really asleep on Ozma. I don't know how good it'll be in Opus 8, but it seems good. I mean, I don't know how good it was in Opus 5, right? But, like, no, no one trusted it, but... Who knows? I, you know, like maybe if people had picked it up in Opus Five, they'd be saying the same thing. Like, I don't know how good this is going to be in Opus Six. Yeah, hundred percent. It's just you know we're getting some crazy ass cards up in Opus Eight. For sure. Um, but you, you know, you did say something to me the other day about Luna Freya in there with the Agrius. So seems good. Let her die. Let the Renoa die. Blink it back. Get another backup. Go to three backups, turn one. That's not even mathematically possible. <laughs> Amazing. Like, just <laughs> the best. The except, best. Except my, my opponent managed to go to, like, seven backups on turn one in my finals match. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Sid Previa, Louis Swa, Alpha No. Next turn, freaking doesn't even matter. Lulu. And then it just, he had it all. The thing is, bro, you misplayed that last game really hard by not drawing backups well i was it was you, it was between the two you options better? Yeah, yeah it was between the two options like i could draw backups um and then possibly win the game right and that seems that seems like really easy though it's like a strong it, line. That, that, it's yeah, a strong line it is but it's really yeah. easy mode right or i could just draw no backups and try my best to win and therefore, present myself with like a grade A challenge. So that's incredible. I level three boss fought myself. Is what I did. Yeah. No. Seems good. Yeah. Well, I think you you presented yourself well for what you had there. So all three games were really solid. Um, 
not a lot of people can play off one backup, so I thought that was really interesting. Close it was. <laughs> Close it was. <laughs> the best. Just a little wrestler there by himself. Him and Ash just, just leading the vanguard. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was the worst of times. It was the best of times, man. It was mostly the Great worst stuff. of times. Yeah, yeah. But let's talk about Kansas City, man. What a surprise Great place. Dude. Uh, you know, the first time I went there, I didn't know anyone. And yeah, it you was came back with a friend. Real, I came back with many friends, multiple friends reported in the area. Just an all points bulletin. There's like 32 friends. RB, Benjamin Parrott, all the boys. It was great, man. Great times. Yeah. I mean, that was Kansas City is the best trip that anyone could make. For FFTCG, in my opinion, and it's not very close. No. Well, LA is really sweet because they have Korean barbecue, but Kansas City has actual barbecue. Has so Kansas it's pretty, City barbecue, yeah. It's a pretty strong play, dude, yeah. Like when I landed at the airport with my boy uh, David, uh, we were trying to figure out what to eat. We were really hungry, and we were renting a car. We pulled up to the gate, and there's this nice uh, you know, African-American gentleman there. And I'm like, sir, we're about to go to Smokehouse BBQ, some place, the closest place we had Googled. This man, it looked like I had offended him deeply. He <laughs> stares at us for a moment and he's like, oh no, oh no, sir, you need to go down in Gates and Sons. And like, we were like, you know what, sir? Yes. You obviously know what you were talking about. And it was the strongest line. I'm not going to lie. We went there, we had. Uh, probably the best ribs I've ever had, probably ever. So what are you excited about, uh, dude? Like, like Opus 8's coming out. What are you excited about? Man, Opus 8 is very exciting. Um, I'm just, uh, I need to see the full list. I'm that kind of guy. Like, the spoilers are cool and everything like that. But until I get a full hundred and whatever card list in front of me, that's really when I'm going to start putting, uh, you know, going into the laboratory yeah. and getting in there. Now, you're, you're going to be um, playing around with Luna Freya some more, I imagine? I'm definitely going to play around with Luna Freya. Seems good. I'm going to be looking forward to actually that Lotus Petal card that I forget the name of. Mm. Uh, Starts in, with an M, right? I don't remember, but I know the effect, and that really opens up some spicy spice, I would say. All sorts of shenanigans, colors that do not belong there. Um, sure. I'm looking forward to Mono Dark Tilica. That's really where I'm at. Mono Dark Tilica is going to be... No? No. No. No, we're not. Okay. Dude, you, so you, you've been killing the Monday night uh, locals, dude. You keep popping up at the top. I used to it's see, been, I used to see it's David up there all the time. but uh, Ducasi or Melendez? I've seen a little bit of both. That's very exciting. Yeah, uh, Ducasi was there. He didn't top this time, unfortunately. The, the Scions players, Dirty Scions players, they were just there. You know, Scions is always like a decent play, you know. It's not like tier one by any means, but it, I don't know. It just always does pretty well. You just play Scions and you swing out. It's very exciting. I, I get really annoyed by that deck. Yeah, so that deck actually can't beat Ozma, like, at <laughs> all. Turns out, turns out when your guy is never dull... And yeah. never dull, can't be targeted. When I do activate it, it's literally like the soul just leaves the player just immediately. It's it's very exciting. So what you do is you just block the Eda. Yeah, I was gonna say that's, that's say, the biggest threat, right? Is Eda. You just block the Eda and you go Ozma special? And they go, Alright, game two. And that's that's basically how it'd be like. And uh you know, luckily no one in my locals runs Bismarck or else I'd be having a very bad day. So, uh, you know, Jonathan's one of your locals, right? Is he is he kind of off the water train? Yeah, he's done for now. He's 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 off to experience uh, greener pastures. He's trying out fire lightning. Uh, he did not top this time, but um, he's, you know, he's been in the laboratory with other colors. We're actually very pleased to see that. Um it's been good seeing the the big time locals in my scene 
going off color. I know Andy hasn't been playing lightning lately, lately either. He just got store champ with uh, YRP untargetables. That while, we were, popular while we were in Japan, yeah. yeah, you know, and that's what RB, I guess, was saying, right? All these decks are popular over there that you would never really expect. Like, when he told me that Mono Fire is considered one of the best decks ever, <laughs> you know, I just couldn't, you know, I'm still... I'm still having trouble processing that, you know, Sugoi Fayakado, you know, I just, I, but I don't it, really see it. All right. So like Mono Fire Warriors of Light is yeah. pretty good, pretty good deck in Swiss. Um, but then I feel you go to finals and I just like, you know, mulligan for it and it's yeah. just like you get me to six like jake lee is the only man at that entire tournament who did 36 <laughs> damage with zero wins <laughs> I, yeah the best it was a six uh, it was a six round of that too wasn't it yeah <laughs> 36 damage zero wins mono fire <laughs> the best no one does it better. That's actually uh, Cody, It was pretty great. Cody said it the best when he said, um, basically what should happen is your opponent should just get you six and then just scoop. Because right. that's, that's what ends up happening. Uh, pretty good. But I don't know. Maybe they're just not doing it right. Maybe they're not holding the closers like you, like you mentioned, right? Yeah, I know it's a good deck. Yeah, you want to close with Warrior Light or Phoenix, and then the yeah. deck the into deck the Warrior Light. Like, yeah. yeah, I would have I would have considered playing the deck for sure if I'd brought the fire cards with me. I think the deck is very good. Um, oh, oh, Suge Fire yeah. Card, very good. Yeah. Wow. So speaking of speaking of impressions, Shane Duckworth, y'all. The wow. So he sat down next to me, I think, uh, round one, okay? And the gentleman sits down with, uh, I think, Stephen Riley. Uh, you know, I guess you guys are friends with him, I suppose. Yeah. And cool guy, you know, he sits down and Shane just lets him have the disclaimer. The, the freaking Forex exchange, stocks, Dow Jones industrial disclaimer. He's like, hey, Stephen, nice to meet you, man. Um, I'm really weird and I do really weird shit during game. Don't panic. I'm just like that. All right. And Steven's like, cool, man. Sounds good. First or second. <laughs> okay. And you she's know, like third. <laughs> he probably did. And so he, I don't know, they start the game, and literally every time Steven hit for a point of damage, Homeboy went to his deck and went, beep, 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 beep. Calculating. Beep, 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 beep. Calculating EX burst, shift change, and would rip an EX burst, bro. Steven Riley was just there like, yo, is he cheating? Like, <laughs> is he cheating? I don't know. I don't know if he is or he isn't. Calculating, then, calculating. You know, that calculating ex burst get in there, and then boom, ex like twice, and it was, it was really incredible. Uh, Steven did end up picking that one, but just what a character, I would say. Um, he trolled RB for a little while. Great, great lines of play, I would say, <laughs> just all around. Um, if if he if he wasn't trolling. I don't know, but if he was trolling, it's like next level. It's level. next level. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like beyond our comprehension level, right? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. He's like the little B of FFTCG trolling. He's the based god of trolling, which you know I find very exciting. Yeah, yeah. definitely one of my favorite people to play against. Hey, dude, yeah. do you, you can buy... This is really relevant to this podcast. You can buy Bibles signed by Donald Trump right now on eBay for three twenty five. dollars It's been really amazing talking to you about this weekend. I'm really looking forward to events to come. So let's close it off with uh, just one last question. Uh, 
What are you most excited to bring to Tampa for that Crystal Cup? What colors? And obviously, you're going to deck change at least a thousand times. But what are you most excited for? Luna Freya. Right now. Luna Freya. Luna Freya things. Yeah. Amazing. Mono Luna Freya. I will play a deck with Luna Freya. Or 60 other good cards. 50 other good cards. It's not magic. Yeah. 60 other good cards. Well, mm. yeah. Can they all be Earth so you can pay correctly for Brawn? Wild Prediction, I play Brawn this time around. Wild Prediction. And my Mono Earth deck, obviously. What would you do? What would you do if I played three Brawn and Mono Earth? I, I mean, I would laugh for a while. For a strong while, I would say. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna do. I'm gonna do that this weekend. I'm gonna play three brawn in Mono Earth. I think you should beam it up. I think you should really take the meme and harness it. Oh, I mean, I, I will as, as soon as you make that play mat. I'm gonna. Well, the play mat's happening. I already placed the order. I'm just gonna perfect the picture because it's a little, you know, a little amateur right now. Oh, you just bought that play mat as it is right now. No, no, I bought like that custom play mat, and I'm just having the image. Uh, transposed on it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Like inked gaming? <sighs> Something like that, yeah. Seems good, man. Yeah, I think it's pretty good, man. Well, thanks, yeah. thanks for yeah. having me on, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. This was, uh, this was really fun. I enjoyed, whoa, my Shiba, me and my Shiba enjoyed talking to you. Good. And uh, tune in next week. Maybe we'll have, I don't know, Okimoto on here. Or uh, Toby Henriette. Or uh, really anyone. Seems good. We can have a guy from my local, Josh. He's pretty good. He doesn't win much, but he's a nice guy. Yeah. His name's not Kuh, but... All right, thanks. This was fun. Have a good night, man.